Hi, how is everyone? I hope y'all are all having a fabulous day. Today, I have a little bit of a different video. It might be a long one. Um, I wanted to share with y'all all of the really cool and fun Halloween clearance items I have bought, which is one of my most favorite things to go shopping for. And it's part because I love Halloween so much, but then it's also because I just love seeing, you know, how cheap I can get some stuff for. It just really makes my heart happy. I don't know why. I've always been like that. I am a bargain shopper to the core. I am not an impulse shopper. I will wait until, you know, until I know I'm getting the very best price on something. So I've got a lot here and I told myself I didn't need anything, but I can somehow always justify in my head, well, it's only 29 cents. So, you know, what's it going to hurt? So anyways, I just wanted to share all this stuff with y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy videos like this. I definitely do. I will also give you um, the prices just because that's stuff that I like to know, you know. So anyways, I'm going to start with the two biggest things. I hope I can show them to you. Um, good but this first thing and it's from from stores all over the first thing that I found on my hunt was at Home Depot and it is the skeleton dog and he does stand up and he's very obnoxious so I'm gonna push push the button to show you <laughs> so that's what he does and he does just stand up so I just thought that was really cute. He was normal, I think 19 or $20, and I got him for about four. So, something totally different that I don't have, and he goes for a long time. There we go. Okay, so there was that. That was the first thing that I found. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool, and they did still have the cat, too, and then, of course, I was kicking myself after. Why didn't you just get the cat, too? It was only $4, so... I wish I had the next thing, which is probably my favorite. I think that he is just so cute. Let's see if I can get somewhat of a good shot of him. I think he's about three feet tall and he's on this pole and the stand. He does have, you know, his full body, his legs, and he's wearing this trench coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the button to show you. Let's see. He's definitely my favorite. I got him at Big Lots for $12. He was normal $50. Um, I couldn't believe that they still had one left, but he basically just flashes, and he has so many different sayings. I have a bone to pick with you, and then he opens his trench coat. I just thought it was so cute, and for $12, couldn't resist him, so I had to grab him. And I do apologize. I'm going to have a lot of bags that I'm digging through. I wanted to kind of keep everything together if I could. So I'll go ahead and show you the other things that I found at Big Lots. They did have quite a few um, really cool things left. And I found this giant spider. I love stuff like this. I have a few, but none near this big. Um, and let's see, he was regular 14, 75% off. So three or four dollars. Um, I couldn't find my Big Lots receipt, so I don't have the exacts on those, which I'll tell you, I think that they're extremely overpriced, but if you can get it at 75% off, then I'll pay that price, you know? Okay, and then I just found these really cute Halloween towels, and these are the really nice, thick towels. So there was those, and these were less than two dollars. So, I grabbed those from Big Lots. I also grabbed these really neat napkins. I just really liked the style and design. These were probably about 75 cents. Um, then I grabbed this tray that's something totally different from anything else that I have, but I really liked the style of it. And it says palmistry, fortune telling, and um, I just thought it was really pretty. And it does have a ribbon here, so you could either hang it or use it as a tray. But I don't know, I just really, really liked the style of it. This was normal 14, and so I paid three or four dollars for that as well. And then I also got this from Big Lots. And let's see, this was regular 16, so 
probably four or five dollars and um it does light up there we go that's intense <laughs> i just really really liked that so i grabbed that and i don't know where i'm gonna put all this stuff next year but you know we'll figure it out okay Last, I believe, from Big Lots are these Halloween um, LED doll head path pathway markers. These were regular 16 as well, so four or five dollars. And I just love these, and it shows you on the back. Once you put them in the ground, they would kind of look like that. They do light up. Super cute. Um, I know I'm going to use these, but I'm not for sure if I'm going to use them outside or inside next year. We'll just have to kind of kind of see I really like um, the style of those though okay so next I think I just had this one random thing from Ross and I got these for a dollar ninety nine and it's just a four pack of these dishcloths with these skulls so I just really liked like those so for two bucks four dishcloths and next from Target just a couple of things I also found these dish towels that I really liked there are two here, and so one of them has this design, and the other one has this one, and it just says Nevermore's right here, and Raven's Claw in Potions, Elixirs, Brews, open from dusk till dawn. So I just really liked those. I like the black and white, and I'll probably use those now, to be honest with you. I probably won't wait for Halloween. Um, these I got for $1.50. I also bought these um, really cool skeleton and spider rings. I just really like the style. These were $1.50 as well, and I will just use these as decoration. Um, maybe cut the backs off of the ring. Um, anyways, I just really liked them, and I know that I will find a use for them. So there's those, and then I also found just these um, dog treats, and they were both $1.50 as well. So these are from Rachel Ray. These are savory roasters, but just because they have these little spiders on them, they were 50% off. And then also from Rachel Ray, I found these soup bones and these are chicken and veggies. So these I'll just cut into a whole lot of small pieces and give those to my dogs. And like I said, those were only $1.50 as well. What else? Okay, I found some stuff from Walgreens. These I really, really liked as well. Um, let me see how much I paid for these. These I paid $4.49 and they were regular $14.99. I thought they were really neat. Where's the button? Here it is. So it's two witch shoes and they light up. So I really liked the style of those. I don't have anything like that. And then I also bought this really pretty like velvet purple skull head. I really liked him too. I kind of want to leave, leave him out too. I don't know. Um, let's see. I paid $2.99 for him. He was regular um, $9.99. What else did I get in this trip? I had two trips. So that's why. And this stuff I think was 70% off. And then I went a few days later and they had marked it to 90% off. Of course, hardly anything was left, but I did grab a few things. I grabbed this Marvel um, Pez dispenser. It's Ghost Rider. And I think I paid 59 cents for this. This thing regular was like $5.99, which I don't know about that, but I went ahead and grabbed it because I know that my smallest nephew will like that. So I just got that for him. I also got this really cool light up eye mask. This was normal $16.99, no way, but I got it for $1.69 and I just thought it was really creepy and cool and it does light up. So it is a Halloween mask, but I will probably hang it on the wall, use it um, for decoration or something like that. And then, okay, I don't normally carve pumpkins. I normally just buy a few pumpkins, but I found this stuff really cheap, and so I thought it might be fun to try next year. Um, and so this, I got this, it was only 79 cents, and this is a, a power saw pumpkin carving tool. So I thought that would be really neat and maybe make it pretty easy. 
And then I grabbed this, this was 49 cents. This is also just a little pumpkin carving kit, but the main reason why I got this is because it has all of these um, little stencils or transfer sheets. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you would want to call them, but um, to help you actually cut out a face because there's no way I could do it without. So I thought that that might be a lot of fun. And then I also grabbed this for 99 cents. And this I thought was really, really neat. Um, it does come with the tools and everything in here. It does come with this pattern, but the main reason why I got it is because it has this skull. So you can make your carved pumpkins look like they have this floating skull over it. It also does come with the light. Um, so, you know, I might use it like this for the pumpkin or I might put it over like a cauldron inside or something like that. And it just kind of shows you here where it's gonna have the skull coming up over. So I thought that was really neat, especially for, you know, 99 cents. Um, okay, next from TJ Maxx, just a couple of things. Um, okay, I do have the receipt. Um, okay, I just found this dog toy and his name is Brainy, and this is a squeaky plush dog toy from Zippy Paws. And it was only $2 um, just because it was, you know, considered to be Halloween. So I will definitely give that to one of my little ones. I'm not gonna squeak it because they'll come run and grab it right now. Um, I also grabbed this box of 12 scented tea lights, and these are black and they are Witch's Brew. Kind of smells like cinnamon. Um, anyways, but I really liked them because they are from Yankee Candle and they are all black. So I had to paint a whole bunch of candles black because you can't ever find them. So I know that I will use those. And these I just had to get, especially for $2.50. There are two of these really cool skull glasses in here. And I just really, really liked them. So don't know exactly sure what I'm going to do with them. You could always, you know, make a flower arrangement, put that in there, um, all different things, or you can just use it, you know, as a drinking glass if you want. Um, what else? I grabbed a couple of things from Dollar Tree just the next day when they had everything for 50 cents. So I just got a lot of their um, paper plates for 50 cents, which I'll probably just use now. And then I also grabbed these, um, the little skull steaks. So these were 50 cents, so I grabbed a couple of those. And what else? We are getting there, guys. I've got some Walmart left and a whole bunch of Hobby Lobby. Okay, so at Walmart, I just bought this really pretty skull. It's actually a cup. All the straws were gone, which I'm not gonna use it as a cup. I really love the pearl or iridescent finish and I probably will make a little arrangement in this. Um, I'm not, oh yeah, I do have the receipt. Okay, so for that, I paid, doo -doo -doo, I paid $1.49, it was $3. So that's how much I paid for that. I also just grabbed these um, sugar crystals in black and orange. And these were 49 cents, I believe. It's kind of hard to re tell on their receipts what they're referring to, but okay, what else? From Walmart, I grabbed this um, window cling and these were normal 98 cents, but I really, really liked the pattern on this. Dollar Tree doesn't typically have anything like this, so I, I definitely went ahead and grabbed that and that was 50 cents. And I also grabbed this door cover with this clown and it actually looks like a kind of like a creepy door. This was 50 cents as well, but I just really liked it. Um, the, and Dollar Tree doesn't typically have this pattern either with the clown, so I liked that. And these two signs, I was so happy that they had some left. I had seen them at the beginning of the Halloween holiday season, but I, told myself you don't need any, but when I found them for half price, I went ahead and grabbed them. So this first one says, terrible tonic, truly frightening, um, delicious cherry flavor, 90 proof. 
So these are the metal, and I just love the vintage kind of creepy style. I thought that was really neat. And this one I really loved as well. This one says, always trust the witch magic broom. Magic brooms fly higher. And this is metal as well. And I, like I said, I just really love this vintage style. So grab those. Okay, last we have from Hobby Lobby. And this was two trips. Um, this first stuff, I think this was 80% off. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed these at 80%. I normally try to wait until 90, but there was only a couple of these left. So that's why. So this first thing are these Halloween color drip candles. These things are so neat. Um, I love these. I had a set of them and I burned them halfway and I have just kept them year after year because I didn't want to finish them. So I'm glad that I have another set now. Um, Let's see, these were $3.99, so I paid $0.80 cents for them. If they had had more, I would have grabbed them. But they're just white, but when they burn down, it has all different um, colors of wax inside. And so you can kind of see, and as it burns, it just clumps up and comes down. It just They just look so neat. I love these candles, so I was really happy to get a pack of these. I also found this Happy Haunting paper. There's 48 sheets in here, 16 different designs. This was normal $6.99, and I paid $1.40 for all of this paper. There are some really pretty designs in here that don't have to be just for Halloween, like this one. Um, really cool, and for that price, you cannot beat it. Like I said, there was only one of these left, so I definitely had to grab that one and then I also got this really cute little stand um, has a little metal stand and she just has her witch hat her black hat and her kind of creepy pumpkin but again I just really loved the vintage style on this and so for this I paid 80 cents so not bad at all there was only one in this style left so grab that okay last bag and all of this stuff was um 90 percent off which just makes me so happy to shop at 90 percent off so i bought things i didn't need but it's okay because they were 90 percent off like i said okay so this first thing is this melting putty and i again i thought that my nephew would really like it i got it for 89 cents and so it's this putty that you can give him little you know he has these arms and his eye and stuff like that but it says that it um like melts every time so i don't know i just thought that was really neat and especially for 89 cents he's eight you know i know that he'll play with it um i also grabbed these glitter spiders these were 29 cents there's six in here and there is orange black and purple and i grabbed these napkins these were only 59 cents, but there are 50 in here. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then I grabbed these tapered candles and these are, these were 99 cents. And I really like the black and it looks like the wax is melting down and then they do light up. So really cool. And I think these are gonna twist just like the ones at Dollar Tree. And then they had this, um, ghost it's like a cheesecloth ghost crafting set um which i probably won't use it for that but for the cheesecloth at 39 cents i definitely went ahead and grabbed it because cheesecloth can get a little pricey so okay next also for 29 cents there are 24 just black spiders in here so grab those and then these were 69 cents and there are six led and these are flickering tea lights so I, th I thought that was really neat, especially for 69 cents. And next we got this um, hanging decoration. This was 49 cents and it's basically just a lot of spiders like hanging down like that. So that will be really great next year. And then I had to get this super cute skeleton. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but he's really, really cute. 
Um, I got him for 49 cents. Really cute. Alrighty. Next, I got this black tree. This was 49 cents as well. I really liked this. I wish that they had had different um, sizes, but um, this was the only one that they had. So, grab that. I also just grabbed these little snack bowls with the lids. They were 39 cents. So I just thought that those would really come in handy any time of year. So a lot of these paper plates and stuff like that, I will just go ahead and, you know, use now. Um, okay, and then I found another girl, but this time I got her for 39 cents. Um, so these kind of go together. I really, really like these. Um, but when I bought this one at 80% off, she was the only one left, but there was a ton of these left. So I waited it out and I got it for even cheaper for 39 cents. Um, okay, last but not least, this is a lot of stuff. And I gotta tell you, I don't know where I'm gonna store it, but you know, I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is a lighted gauze garland. I thought this was really cool. And there are 35 purple lights. It is nine foot, so not too bad. And I got this for $1.79. So if you can see right here, it's gonna be kind of like that creepy cloth at Dollar Tree, but it has these purple lights running through it. So that will be a super easy way, uh, you know, to decorate versus having to put down the cloth and then string your own lights. So I thought that was really neat, but unfortunately this was the only one. Otherwise I would have bought a few for sure. So anyways, okay, that is all for, um, my Halloween clearance stuff, like I said, I really don't know where I'm gonna put all this stuff. My storage is getting pretty, pretty um, small, my attic's full, so I don't know. But you know, when you get stuff for that cheap, I just cannot help myself. So anyways, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this. Um, please comment down below, let me know what you think. Also, um, I do have a giveaway going on and I will link that video down below and you will still have a couple days. I will announce the winners November 23rd. So um, make sure you get entered into that and um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and please subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.